Well, for me, it's a great event because it brings together so many different um, experts from a variety of fields. One of our big focus is actually to build our softwares to enable other builders of quantum computing software. So I came partly to see what all the other like big shots in the field were doing, and partly because I thought this would be the, a nice audience to hear about the things that we're doing, which are new and exciting. So I think you created a very nice event that looks at the middle and see what is common, what is not, and how kind of can we can we learn from each other. And uh, said I've learned a lot from the talks uh, the last day and a half here, and looking forward to this afternoon as well. When we originally planned this event, we thought maybe we're getting 50 participants. At the end of the day, we ended up with more than 200 participants and we even had to reject a lot of people because we simply didn't have enough space. So this really shows that there's a huge interest in quantum computing software. I love that I get to use all my background in physics, maths, computer science, computer engineering. These are the topics that drove me to university. I studied very broadly and with quantum computing, I get to tie that all back into one package every day and that keeps me very happy every single day. What excites me most is being literally on the cutting edge to look at supercomputing and where, where that is and to be able to apply quantum acceleration to it, to be able to solve problems that we haven't been able to before, to solve new problems that we haven't even thought of and really the sky's the limit. I mean, I think in the past when some of these workshops started to emerge, right, the next wave they started to really define good benchmarks because, because benchmarks drive an enormous amount of work and focus. Right? So I think one thought is, hey, is there a kind of yeah, follow-on for the next workshop that said, hey, can we put some benchmarks together that people then start to kind of compete on, yeah? Uh, that, that kind of cover this, this whole optimization space, I think would be a very nice kind of evolution in, in future generations here. I come from a HPC background and the classical runtimes and compilers. And uh, when I move to quantum, everybody that enters this field has a level of enthusiasm and energy and intellectual curiosity, which I haven't seen in quite a while. It is very refreshing. I think it's really exciting to uh, meet new software companies and vendors from this region. And um, I think that uh, there are a lot of new approaches that I'm seeing that I haven't seen before. A really big challenge right now is that we're, trying, we're starting to scale uh, the machines that we run on. And for the past five years, we've really sort of taken this very deep dive into each different specific machine and technology. And we've really built software that spends a lot of computational time to optimize for those things. But as we go into the future, the machines are gonna get larger, the programs are gonna get larger. Uh, we won't be able to afford to do the same thing that we've been doing in the last five years. And so we have to be very strategic about deciding what to focus on and what things, uh, what properties of devices we're gonna work on and what things we're gonna ignore, basically. What the biggest challenge is in, in quantum computing. I think it's the interdisciplinarity of, of the whole field, like so many different people working together, physicists, experimentalists, theorists, computer scientists, HPC people, and getting all of them on the same table and speaking the same language is, is a tough challenge that we still need to, to crack. I think there's so many challenges in this work um, to really get a quantum computer to work and to run quantum software on that. But um, I'm not worried about that. I think there have been so many challenges in the past and like the journey to build a quantum computer and so many breakthroughs have been done in the past in the field of quantum computing. And we're going ahead and we're getting better and have better quantum computers and better quantum software. I'm especially thrilled to see many so young faces in the, in the audience. People who want to learn now about quantum computing want to be part of it and, and it's just really exciting to see. 
you can already tell just the, the feel of this room that there's going to be quite a lot to learn in the next couple of days. The most exciting for me is to connect with other people in software with an interest in really building a quantum computer. I were making the tools that allow us to take quantum computing into the next, the next phase of its evolution. Hardware is evolving, use cases are evolving. The development of classical systems, we had similar challenges and we can exploit all the knowledge we gained. I really enjoyed the Munich Quantum Forum uh, meeting because of its uh, integrated approach and programmatic uh, handling of bringing together communities, both uh, users, newbies to the field, and uh, professionals, and I think this is the right way. I want to thank all the participants to coming to the Munich Quantum Software Forum. We really brought the who's who of the community together.